Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room this weekend. This is the card that we're going to make in just a few minutes with the Varied Vases stamp set from the new annual catalog. If you are a new customer of mine, I will send you a free new annual catalog. Um, and they, they, there is just some beautiful things in this catalog. Also, um, if you order $25 in product from me, these are the two free kits for the month. You get this card kit, every everything but stamped images. You get all of the elements, and here are the elements for the bag with the gold... Um, uh, mini sequence on it and the little black paper clip I think it's so adorable um, you can always put a little goodie in here a little piece of candy maybe a co-worker had a bad day and they would just you know like to have something nice um, and pretty on their desk when they come in maybe the next day um, you can uh, these are great favors for any kind of a party and it's also if you're doing a party this is a great make and take um, so they the customers your Customers can put it together uh, fairly quickly, and it's fun, and um, you get to go home with something really, really nice. The quality of the bag is beautiful. Now, I will say this much. If you don't want the bag, I can completely understand that. I will send you two of these kits. So the only thing you have to do then is email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com and just tell me I just placed an order and I would like two card kits instead of the card and the bag. Okay, or just put, I would just like two card kits um, and I'll know what you mean. So that's okay and I can completely understand if you didn't want to do a project and you just wanted to make cards. So I wanted to make that available to my customers um, and I just really kind of thought of that the other day. So. Um, yeah, so that's what we'll do. Okay, so that's with that. Now today, like I said, we're going to do the varied vases, but I want to show you all something that if you do order from me in the next, um, I'm going to say two months, or I might like, um, if you order from me, I will send you these one time. I'm going to make a list. Okay, these were printable from um, Stampin' Up! and it helps you. It's a color coach. Uh, I'm going to print them on my computer. I'm going to cut them up for you and you're going to get these color coaches. So if you're using blueberry bushel, the best thing to coordinate with it is Call Me Clover and Calypso Coral. Okay, and here I put them, I'll, I'll staple them together and um, yeah, you can just go from there. This is how I came up with my lovely lipstick um, combo. I use the color Lovely Lipstick in the ink and Pineapple Punch and Basic Gray go with it. Okay, I was like, no, I'm not going to do any Basic Gray on this. It's too dark. But when I put it on here, it separated the white from the vibrance of the Pineapple Punch and it is an absolutely beautiful color combo as you can see. So I'm so happy I stuck with what it said, Lovely Lipstick, Pineapple Punch, and Basic Gray. As you can see, I think the card came out so adorably cute. So, And I finished the inside. I have my angel policy on the back, and my envelope is completed with this little flower. Isn't that adorable? That's a sweet little flower, too. So we'll be back in a minute. Well, actually, let me go ahead and give you the dimensions of the card. We are doing this card with... Um, uh, thick Whisper White cardstock at 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. It will open like this. And our first layer is of Pineapple Punch at 5 and a quarter by 4. These squares, um, I will stamp them first and then you will cut them out with our most beautiful stitched framelits. I love this. And this is the, the smallest square. Okay, and there's the stitches on the back. So um, after you stamp them, we're going to go through that. You cut them out um, with that. And then the basic gray is um, one and three quarter by one and three quarter, just a square. Okay? So that's our um, dimensions there. And then I used our new ribbon, our beautiful metallic edged ribbon here, just to give it a little pop. Just to give it that little, little pop right there. Okay? We'll be back in a moment and we're going to stamp and put this card together. Okay, first what we want to do is a lot of stamping. And as you can see, I used this piece of Whisper White and cut out the four that were on our card right here. Whoop. Card right here, okay? So, 
Um, the way that I like to do it is I mount everything. Everything is already mounted on a bunch of blocks. I have a bunch of blocks. Um, it's like when I place an order, I just go ahead. Sometimes I lack like two or three dollars or four dollars here or there, you know, to get some rewards or something like that. So I go ahead and order a block, whether it be the itty bitty ones. I love these. Um, you know, so I just have a lot of them to mount the stamps on. So we're going to start with Call Me Clover. And we're going to use it full strength. And we're going to take the outline um, stamps from this set first. This is all done in Call Me Clover. And I'm just going to take it and just down and up. Do not take these stamps and push them. It spreads the photopolymer, pla like, um, I don't want to call it plastic, um, rubber back here. And it will give you like a, a blobby kind of... Um, impression okay so it's just a down and an up and let's see let's do this one this actually is my absolute favorite flower in this whole set they're all pretty now see I did use a little bit more pressure with that and you can see it's just a little like this is crisp okay but I'm okay with that I'm gonna use it so this is just scrap paper I'm gonna move this one to the side now I'm going to bring this one in. Let's go that way with it. And we're going to use this one. And remember, we are going to cut off some of, um, let me get a little paper right here. Here, I'll even use this. Okay, so we are going to cut off, you know, some of this from there. So I can kind of stamp off the page a little bit there if I need to save some space. Um, and let's see, that's three. What was the other one that we did? Oh yeah, this is my fave. I like this one because of the little pluses there. I think they're so pretty. So very pretty. Or I should say one of my faves because the one with the two flowers is about my fave. So there, we'll go with that. <clears throat> Maybe they're all my favorites, that's the problem. <laughs> now we'll, um, let me bring in our envelope, let me move this to the side, and bring in the envelope, and I will go ahead and take this little flower, and stamp, down and up. Stamp, tap, tap, down and up, okay? Sometimes it's hard to like not mash it, you know, because you want to, it's like, okay, I'll do this really good. You know, you apply pressure that you really don't need. So we'll move that to the side. And then sometimes too, when I'm behind the camera, things come out a little bit different than when I'm just over at my craft table. Like here, I wish I would have gotten a better print in the center of that, but I'm okay with that for on camera. Okay, so I did have everything paired up, and now it's just all over the place, which is normal. We'll go into Lovely Lipstick. And we want this one in Lovely Lipstick. I do want to stamp off my Lovely Lipstick. I don't want it red. I want it more pink. I love pink and green, so by stamping it off, you take that boldest color of the ink out, and then I am going to pull this down and come over this. I just called Stampin' Up, and my order will be here on Monday. Ugh. I really wanted it to be here today so I could play with everything this weekend, but it won't be here till Monday. I ordered it last week, but it's taking them a while to get things shipped. They are very... Um, busy with all the orders. So I'm moving all my stamps out of the way so I don't get too confused. This one right here I want to do in Pineapple Punch. <clears throat> so uh, with all of that being said, if you have ordered a paper share from me, um, I will start, I sent out the invoices and um, they will be mailed at the end of next week. Okay, I was really hoping to get everything in today 
but they told me they didn't ship it until Tuesday, even though I had ordered it Friday. So um, you can't help it. It's just what it is. So there's those two right there. And let me get this here. But that's it's still going to be on time with the shipping. I will still ship within the amount of time that I wanted to ship in. I'm going to use this little one and into the lovely lipstick and... I will stamp it off again. See how dark that color is? And I really don't want that on this card. I want more of a lighter tone with pink and green, not really red and green. I try to get over it and hover over it to make sure that I've got it and then I let it go. I love this little cascade of color right here. We're going to do that in Pineapple Punch. I love the new catalog. I am not a type of person to order a bunch all at once from the new catalog. I have to order a few things, work with them, then order some more things and work with them. So that's what's coming is just more things to work with, right? <laughs> so, um, okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and bring this in, our envelope, and I'll reopen my pineapple punch again, sorry. And we'll get this solid little flower right here. Looks so pretty. Actually, too, we could do the inside of the card. It's just right there. And right there. Okay, our envelope is completed. Okay, let me get the inside of the card here. Move that to the side. And let's see, we need the outline right here with our Call Me Clover. Just right, just like that. Oh, I love it. And just right into Pineapple Punch. And just hover over it, get things lined up, take your time. Just like that. Ha! Love it. <clears throat> I'm going to flip my card over and do my um, angel policy really quick here. And I'll do that in Pineapple Punch. Just like that. A little Stampin' Up! policy, okay? So we have all of our stamping completed now. I'm going to go to the big shot. I'm going to get off a of camera right here. I'm going to go to the big shot, get everything cut out. I'll come back and we will assemble this card together. Okay, I've got everything cut and we're about ready to put the card together. But on this one right here, I want to stamp my hello before I attach it to my basic gray square. So this is going to go ahead in the um, Call Me Clover. We're going to go ahead and use that ink and full strength again. And I kind of line it up with the stitched down here where it's straight. Um, do I have too much light in here? I had the window open. There we go. I bet that's better. Okay. So I'm just going to down and up. I'm a little low, but I'm behind the camera, but it's still okay. I'm good with that. I would have liked it to be a little bit higher, but I'm okay with that. Okay. Now then, we're going to put this on our one and three quarter by one and three quarter square of basic gray. I'm telling you guys, when I saw those color coaches, I was like, how can I pass this on to you guys? And that's what I came up with. So I'm going to print it for you. I'm going to make a list, okay, of who I send it to. So if you order from me, I'm going to send it to you. Now, dimensionals on the back of this. Um, and then, you know, so that you don't get multiples of it, I'm just going to make a list of who I've sent them to. Um, because those, I think those color coaches are so cool. Let me just bring those in real quick. It is of the ink colors. Okay, even the fresh fig. Okay, we're going to do these ink colors and this set of ink colors. Just the ink colors, okay? There's two sets of ink colors. <laughs> these are the brand new ones. I love these colors. I love 
uh, you know, I love the old colors, but um, I got to admit, these are really, really pretty. This pineapple punch is just beautiful. And look how it, pineapple punch, pumpkin pie, and that new shaded spruce right there is going to complete that trio. I think that these are just so easy um, for everyone just to kind of look at them and um, help you with any kind of color combo and you know your card is going to come out great because I honest to goodness guys I didn't think that the um, the basic gray was like no I don't want to add a dark color but it needed the dark color let me move my foam mat now I'm on a foam mat because we're on photopolymer okay I have my um, pineapple punch the front of the card and we're just going to attach this ribbon down here and make what I call a knotted bow so this ribbon right here we're gonna flip this over just put two strips of snail okay right there toward you know the bottom where you're going to place your ribbon this is how you save ribbon put the tail in and then this these could have even been shorter just a little bit shorter but it's okay but see, you save ribbon this way. You don't need ribbon all the way across the card, okay? So just right there, and let the snail hold it for you, okay, while you look at it. Now you can reposition. I think this side needs to come up just a tad. Right there, yes. Okay, just like that. Now, what we're going to do is I like to work off the spool, okay? So I take some ribbon out. Um, or pull some ribbon out and this is another way to save ribbon work off the spool I thread this underneath here okay and I just just make a knot just a knot now I will say with this ribbon um, make it a little bit longer because it's gonna fray a little bit you're gonna cut it see this is like what I call a knotted bow um, so it, it will slide because it's free of this ribbon that's flat okay so you can push it wherever you want it I like it okay then I bring mine up together put them together like this okay guys just like that take your snips and see this is how I get them even and just snip it now off camera I will flame the edges of this okay this ribbon does fray I will tell you that you honest to goodness you need to flame it Okay, it, it just it just must be. I think you know, unless you like that frayed look, that's fine too. Um, so let me move our ribbon out of the way. And I want to get a glue dot. And this is just totally optional here. But the way that that moves around just a little bit, I'm gonna take a glue dot and just kind of and these again, these are left over from paper pumpkins because they have you know the tops on them. And then I just take that and I push it into that glue dot and it really lets that knot kind of just stay still and then you can kind of manipulate your ribbon you know how you want it I like it just the way it is perfect now I'm gonna go ahead and add my snail to the back I hope you guys have been enjoying the new catalog there's so many things we're gonna have so much fun with this new catalog just be prepared okay we're going to bring this in and we're going to put this here and there you cut it down a quarter of an inch from the uh, base of the card so you get a nice eighth of an inch border doesn't that ribbon just make it pop even with nothing on it right okay so let's see what we have here we have our little hello and that's going to go down here we don't want that to go first this one does go up here in that corner and the tree down here and now this one, whoop, this one we're going to go up here. The reason why I wanted to start with this one is because this is like laying um, flagstone or, or um, brick or whatever. It is the cornerstone of where the rest of them are going to be placed. So you want to come in and give it that nice eighth of an inch border just like that. Now this one comes right under it and you want to leave that spacing right there although lining it up so that things are even and then you can put the rest of them on but that's like your cornerstone just there and then this one right here 
Oh, I love this card. I love them. Now, while we were off camera, I thought about what I had said in previous videos. So I added, hoping your day blooms with happiness. Hello. Hoping your day blooms with happiness. Isn't that beautiful? Thanks so much for being with me today and um, watching me assemble this card and design this card and assemble it. I really do enjoy the Very Vases stamp set. This is a million dollar stamp set and what that means is one of our demonstrators sold a million dollars and she got to help design this set. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, so let's see, what else? Don't forget, if you order, I'm going to be sending you these color palettes. I will print them on my computer. I'll cut them up. I'll staple them for you and you will have them and the two free kits for the month of June. Remember, if you don't want the bag, and I totally understand that, I'll be happy to make you two cards. Just email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com and um, just send me a little note about it, and no problem, guys, okay? Um, thank you so much for watching, and please have a great, happy crafting day. This just reminds me of all the sunshine that's outside right now, and our envelopes are decorated. We have finished product. Love it. Happy crafting!